Central Illinois jeweler has created one-of-a-kind pieces for more than 100 years. So what goes into designing a custom piece of jewelry? Here with a fresh look at jewelry designs, Caitlin Davis is the assistant manager for MJ Reed Jewelers in Champaign. It's good to have you, Caitlin. Thank you for having me. So 100 years of custom jewelry. So brought big picture, what is custom jewelry? It's anything that you um, want to create that we don't have, that it's something within your family or a piece that you are dreaming of. So it can be anything really. So the thing that pops to my mind is a lot of people inherit their grandparents or great grandparents Absolutely. rings, and they may not necessarily want great grandma's design that was popular in the early yeah. 20th century, but they want to save the diamonds or, or whatever stones go with it. Absolutely, right? that's something that we work with on the daily. People are always coming in with pieces that they have, or you know, lots of different pieces that they want to collaborate to make one piece. So that's something that we do all the time. We either restore a piece or we take the diamonds and make it into something new for them. That's interesting, a restoration process. Yeah, so absolutely. sometimes, let's say, great grandma's ring was in the attic or something and, and people forgot about it and then found it and you can kind of bring it back yeah, to its... Yeah, absolutely. Do we can do the re-tipping of the prongs that make, makes it brand new or we can do um, adding to it, making it white gold, you know, changing it, just keeping its original form, you know, and just revamping it a little bit yeah so can how creative can you get <laughs> oh the sky's the limit absolutely really? you can do it we can do anything and it's a really fast turnaround we can do anything anyone wants well show me a couple of examples because you yeah, brought absolutely. some I want to I see what, what's your wildest design that you have here? I directly this is a really cool piece because <laughs> we took marquee diamonds which are okay. the football shapes with the rounds oh, yeah, look at that and created a very fresh um, yeah I'm gonna put this up here piece. so they can get a good absolutely. shot of it so okay so you, yeah so basically those diamonds are a football shape. yeah they are in, in man's term, a football cut, you know, it looks like a football cut. Yeah, well, right. <laughs> what, would you, what would you call it's that? It's actually a marquee. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you go in and ask her for a football cut, she'll know what you're talking about, <laughs> yeah. which is the best thing ever. So, again, there's something where you've taken, it looks like, four different diamonds, and then is it a ruby in the center? That's actually a red spinel, which okay. is a, it's a different stone than a ruby, but it gives the same illusion and the same color. How creative do you guys get with stones? If someone says, you know, I want turquoise, which isn't something that you, that's not a standard color, Color, can you make that work? There's lots of different stones that are in, fall within that color. So blue topaz or aquamarine are kind of in that turquoisey color scheme. So there's several things. Diamond can sometimes be that color. Yeah. Exactly, so. Do you like getting creative? Because yes, you're absolutely. talking about yeah. this and I'm seeing you <laughs> smiling. That's a passion for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, a huge passion for me. Definitely. Okay, excellent. Well, let's go over a couple more pieces yeah, sure. up here. Do you want to do you want to go up here? Because these, yeah, these are actually a wax too. model. Uh, we actually make these within our custom design process. We okay. used a 3D printer to make these pieces. Really? Yes, and these are designs. This is actually a custom piece, and these are custom designs made, you know, for our, our customers. So, so big picture, this is part of your design yes, process, right? Yes, absolutely. Right? Yes, and this is wonderful because you can see all the details before it's made in a metal form or bef before it's made completed. Yeah, um, because so you have to you have that conversation, yeah, right? And yeah. sometimes, I mean, this isn't a critique of anyone's design abilities I in terms of what we bring to the table, but you have to take the things that we're babbling right. and turn them into a piece. Correct. Yes, it's a conversation, and yeah. And a lot of times we make changes at this point because it's wax isn't expensive; it can be melted, and it's not metal yet, which yeah. is great. So, yeah. yeah, this is a great, uh, customers feel comfortable with this item of, of wax because they can then say, I want it lower, I want it wider, I want, you know, sure. different differences. Yeah. It, you know, and I knew that if I didn't qualify that, someone's going to write me and say, well, my design sense is perfect, <laughs> you know, so, but even if it's not, that's where they come to you. Absolutely. Because you share ideas and you have examples of things yes. that have been done. So, yes. okay, so they come back to these fantastic wax figures. People can say back and forth, oh, I like this, I don't like this. Yes. And then can they choose metals? Yes, after the wax is, is produced and the customer approves it, we will then talk about metals. What do they want? Yellow gold, white gold, rose gold, platinum. We choose hand select the diamonds or the gemstones that are go that go into this piece or their diamonds. That's another thing. Sure. If it's created with their old pieces, um, so we go through the process of what it would look like at the end. I love that. Well, I want I want to go through a couple more of the pieces because yeah. they're sitting on the table and everyone at home is going, Matt, stop talking and have her talk <laughs> about the jewelry. So tell me about this piece that you've got. Uh, that one is 14 karat white gold, uh, diamonds, pave all over all sides of the ring, and then a large, very fancy pink tourmaline in the center. Well, and look at the way that it captures yeah. the light like that. It is lovely. Yeah, that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so again, different stones. And you, you get a request for a lot of different shapes? 
Um, yes, round round is probably the most common. Princess cut, oval, marquee, all kinds of shapes. There's lots of fa uh, fantasy cut shapes that are just like a kite or sure. octagon sure. kind of shape. Can I get a Can I get a Star Trek ring if I wanted? Yeah, anything you want. <laughs> I love that. So there really is sky's the limit. That's a beautiful. Looks like diamond ring. The that, that came out of the Sue Ellen Ewing collection. That's a huge stone. This right is actually there. a three-carat diamond loose that's set in there just for everyone to see. <laughs> does, your, does your finger weigh down? Who doesn't love a three-carat? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, good night. <laughs> and then lastly, tell me about these earrings. These are actually white diamonds and black diamonds. Um, I custom designed these just using stones in our store. Um, diamonds exceed large to small, and then black diamond kind of uh, diamond shape with r diamonds in the center that dangle, which are beautiful. Look at those. Yeah, these are lovely. Amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. Caitlin Davis, thank you so much for thank your you time. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. It. Thank you. Fun to see your creative inspiration here. Caitlin is with MJ Reed Jewelers. We'll connect you to them online at ciliving.tv. Now, here's